just a thought I have on this lovely morning. If you live in a beautiful place, even though the taxes may be oppressive and they limit you to seven rounds in your magazine, etc., etc., appreciate the beauty. All right, what's going on this morning is I got new tires on my trailer. Figured out I need new brake shoes, so I gotta go dig them up somewhere. Then I'm gonna pack the wheel bearings, get brake shoes on it, and then we can load our new uh, new acquisition. This sure is a pretty place. Don't you think so, Miles? I do. Y'all about ready to go? And trucks a mess. These folks helped us out pretty good. They got what we need here. Check that thing out. Looks like my 46 Ford. Except to think the headers bolted to the fender ain't cool. Oh. Oh. First Universalist Church, Porterville, 1841. Somebody painted it. That's pretty cool. I liked it so much, I decided to come back. Good bunch of folks here. They know what you're talking about. That's unusual. And this is what I came to get. Get this baby loaded up here in a little bit. It's a little dirty. I think it's sat since 1985. But the interior is in nice shape. I don't know how much filming we'll do because we're not at our usual you know filming location with our crews and support trailers and script writers and so on but we'll see if we can get anything out of it there's a big hole there with nothing in it i bet you i got something that'll go in it Baby. All right, the little man and I have got her strapped down pretty good, I think. What are you doing, pal? What? What, trying to get out? He's trying to get out. Oh, you can make it. You're just a little guy. She's a beaut, ain't she? I think it was an old Stroman bread truck. Anyway, she's going to North Carolina. Well, we've got her back there. Just taking her on a little test run up a long hill. or so, 5.30 or something like that, sun's coming up Sunday morning and we are rolling with a big old van on the back.
It is a pretty place, ain't it? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well, gotta hit the road. I think we're gonna start singing a little 6 0 song here. single pull. Isn't that beautiful? And that too. It's been a long time since we've seen them. Yeah. Oh, the trees are here now. The truck's pulling this van pretty good, but I tell you what, it's a big old sail back there. You can feel it when a gust of wind comes up. I don't know what we'll get for mileage this time. We've got 15 and a half pulling a minivan. Still 15 and a half. I guess it's averaging still. I'm not too sure about what the GPS is telling us here. I hope it's right. Can't see it real good, but this is some beautiful country right here in Pennsylvania. And it looks like I better start paying attention where I'm driving. There's a little better shot. Look at the bridge. Out here. Pretty awesome. That wasn't me going 65. It's that Porsche behind me. That got me a butt chewing a while ago. She said, You're going 76! Okay, let's do it. I didn't get the camera out in time, but we just passed Fort Hunter. Centennial Barn. That was pretty cool. Look at that old bridge. I wish we could have drove across that. That's always the thing. Not enough time to stop and look. We're going to go under it right here. It's made out of rock. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. So I went in the gas station here and went inside. I said, I need the key for the bathroom. And the guy said, I'm sorry, sir. It's Arg de Farger. I said, what? He says, Arg de Farger. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I don't know what you're talking about, man. He said, it's not working. It's not working. I said, oh, okay. So, Out the board door. <laughs> Arg de Farger, he says. <laughs> the wind's just a howling. Fast, maybe 35 miles an hour. I guess that ain't too bad. I guess I don't know what wind is either. Some folks out in the Midwest will probably tell me that. But it's blowing this truck around pretty good. We'll just ease along, take our time. Right. Arg de Farger! <laughs> There's something nice to see. Glory waving. suffering a little road rage at the moment. How are them uh, pretzels? Actually, I'm eating the sweet and salty mix. They're good. Okay. Anyway, merging on the interstate means accelerate to make your speed blend with the vehicles you're trying to merge in with. You don't hit the brakes at the on-ramp and stop everybody. You know, it's a little hard to woe up this whole contraption in 25 feet at 65 miles an hour. West Virginia welcomes us. Wild and wonderful. I had a scare back there at the gas station. What was that? Saw a transmission fluid dripping out from under the front of the truck. That's what I wonder. But I raised the hood and looked. It was a spare can of transmission fluid that I had uh, that stashed beside the battery or a hole in it. <laughs> I 
We just calculated the fuel mileage is getting 10.75 miles a gallon. And according to a little computer up there, it says it's getting 15 and a half. So obviously, that is not correct. Must be too much of a average going on there. We haven't reset it in a long time. Uh oh, somebody's messed up in the median there, looks like. Chevy. Looks like it might be a good one. It's got a ladder in the back of it. I don't know what that's for. Oh yeah, it's a good one. This is giving the old girl a workout. It's 98 degrees now. Seems to be doing fine so far. And everybody's snoozing. So that time we got 12.42 miles again. So we're doing better. We're better going a little slower here. Some side roads and lots of traffic. Look at here. Welcome to North Carolina. I got that pace into the joke right into this bunch back here. Well, there it is. The prize made it home. Ain't she a beaut? Had to rebuild the suspension on the trailer and brakes and some bearings and new tires, but it made it. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful ugliness. Oh, it's a padiddle. <coughs> 19 inch wheels. One locked up wheel. And two flats. Still shiny under the paint. <laughs>